Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your reading. All right, so I was just going in, right, on the reading and it wasn't recording. So we got a lot of cards here. All right, so Aquarius, it looks like you start with, let's, let's get a prayer going. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so you got, um, you might even be going through spiritual warfare, Aquarius. We wrestle against not flesh and blood, the principalities, wickedness in high places, paraphrasing, right? You got somebody sending you energy here, but it looks like it's, the battle's already won. I don't know. It looks like there is no battle. Somebody's got to pack it up and go home. Or they feel like they got to do a lot to penetrate your aura. Some of you are doing like energy work, uh, meditation. It's just like, look, she's in a ball. It's like you already take as a proactive measure. Like you're protecting yourself. The seven of wands talks about protection, proactive. Whether you feel like this magical energy work is real or not. It says, pray over yourself, bless yourself, bless your energy, you know, be proactive. Whether you know it to be true that somebody is doing this to you or not, how about you just take proactive measure and do so? So, so that, um, you know, what's the harm in it, right? It says if you're doing something, if you're trying to bring an idea to life, stick with it, Aquarius. Don't be easily moved. Even if you got to take a minority position, everybody is on the other side. Everybody's like, that's not going to work. That's a pipe dream, blah, blah, blah. It says stick with it. Because like some big manifestation, all your hard work is, is going to pay off. It will pay off. This is like a miracle happening, a, a big manifestation of your dreams, of your goals, life purpose, or life direction, long-term goal achievement, expertise. Um, it's just like you, you're, you're coming into this using your gift. It says stick with it. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. You let it go. The spirit's got to go where you go. If you let it go, then they're like, okay, well, what are we doing now? It's not like you let it go and spirit is just going to do all the work over here. No, it says stick with it so we can help you. The only card you have here that's a major arcana in this little spread is the magician. So it says, you know, taking matters into your own hands, uh, bringing um, what's in heaven down to the earth. The first cards out were the magician, the seven of wands and the queen of wands. So it says that, you know, um, as above, so below. So if you're a queen of wands, if you're a, a master manifester in the heavens, that's what you need to be on the earth. If you have great idea, if you're charismatic, if you're outgoing, if you're funny, if you're a people person, if you network, if you can get a lot done in a short amount of time, if you know your life purpose, manifest it now and stick with it. Don't let it go. Tenacious, tenacity. That's what they're saying. Okay, Aquarius. Um, then the reading, is it still recording? Okay, good. I'm like, not again. Um, over and over again. You got to do something over and over again. Eight could be significant for you. That is the infinity number, but it is like a you know, sideways eight. Is it going to focus? Yeah, great. Uh, so it's like eight could be significant to you or for you. Eight, the number eight. It talks about abundance. It talks about hard work. It talks about wash, rinse, repeat over and over. Um, you may be getting ready to come out of a cycle. The eight, nine, 10 talks about disseminating energy. So it's about to turn into something else. It's about to, all of that energy is about to, you know, roll into a ball and then turn into something else. Now, poof, you know, um, it has to be, you know, you start over again and it starts over in a different dynamic, in a different way, different altogether. So, um, all of that energy that you're exerting is definitely going to pay off 
or it's going to turn into something else. What is the magician in the seven of wands? What is the magician in the seven of wands? Yeah, the two of wands. Okay. So then we got the nine of wands. Then we had the ten of wands. Okay. So it looks like that everyday struggle that, that you know, um, being on the struggle bus or feeling like you go up the hill and then you just had to slide right back down it. It's, it's coming to an end, to a close, planning. You know, it's like, I don't know, this could even be the universe planning something for you or what you were planning for yourself is going to come into uh, fruition. It also says make the right decision here because, um, you know, the wrong decision could lead you down the karmic path, a karmic road where you're going to have to unravel, untangle yourself. This could be in love. This could be in career. I'm feeling like this is career. Some of you want to decide to go your own way, to do your own thing or go to another job. A decision here. It says in the two of wands, the grass is greener on the other side. Some of you don't feel like it will be, or it's going to be too hard or you give up too easy. It says be proactive, tenac tenacious, tenacity. Uh, the two of wands, it says that something that you do, you, you may be doing two different things for money right now. One of them is going to eventually dominate the other. That's what it says. Eventually it could be in the springtime, spring 2023. We'll claim it. Right. Um, it also says in the two of wands that, um, financial security, you found financial security, maybe between doing two different things or having two different streams of income, or I don't know. Um, it also says in the two of wands, uh, this could even be indicative of, of a cheating scenario. You know, somebody coming back to you just for sex, looking you up just for sex, hanging out with you just for sex, hanging out with you just for fun, just for play coming in, dis disrupting you, disturbing you, and then moving on and then coming back again. And, you know, it, it could be a karmic situation, karmic cycle. It could be some from somebody in the past, someone who they made you do all the work in the relationship. You kept the relationship going. This was meticulous. This was strategy. This was what they meant to do. It wasn't like it was haphazard. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, my life got so busy. So yeah, Aquarius, you have to make all the dates and pay for them. And you have to come and meet me over here. And then you have to come and do it. You know, and you have to pay for the vacation. No, it was metic. It was strategy. It was meticulous. They knew what they were doing. They knew that they were going to use you. They knew that they were going to make you do all the work. So that's why, um, it's the 10 of wands there. Um, if that's relationship, in career and finance, it looks like you're going to have to decide eventually, uh, very, very soon. Uh, the ones are months. So we'll, you know, if you need two months, you have to decide two months tops. What is, what is going on here? One more card for Aquarius in this energy. And then we'll go to the next spread. All right, let's see one more card. Okay. They gave you two more cards, the justice card and the four of pentacles. So you have to decide in regards to your stability or what is bringing you stability here. What is stagnating you or holding you back or what's ho or are you holding yourself back? This could even be roots or what you're rooted to your foundation. It could have something to do with, Oh, you have to decide if you're going to go it alone. The four of pentacles talks about if you feel like you need a partnership, it says, no, do it by yourself. Partnership can also be a job. You know, if you feel like you need that job, no, go it alone. It says that you stay in the job for fear of loss or not having stability. That's the only reason why you stay in that job. That's the only reason why you stay there for the money. There's no love. There's no likeness. There's no passion. There's no creativity. It's just a job. It's just the money. And you're going to have to decide again, justice card reducing to a two, two of wands. Um, you have to decide, we know what a decision here is at the channel. You got to go in, make an decision and then cut away. You got to decide deep, you know, um, divide, you know, you can't be divided anymore. And this is what the universe is saying to you. It's either it's plan A or plan A or plan A or plan A. There's no plan A, plan B, C, D, E, F. Oh Lord, you the Z now. Um, no, it's playing A, A, A. A is going to work. A is going to work. That's it. That's the only way you can get anything accomplished. Your birthday could be on the 4th of maybe February or the 31st of January. Yep. You have to decide. So that's what they're giving me. Or the 2nd. Um, the 2nd of February. Um... Damn, you got the Ten of Pentacles again. This is the second time in another deck. Yeah, you have to decide, Aquarius. This day, decide. 
Let your yay be your yay and your nay be your nay. I mean, your life, long-term goal achievement purpose is writing on this. This is the transference of wealth. This is um, marrying into wealth. Some of you could be, you know, going into that. This is also, um, what am I getting with this? This is the establishment. If you decide where your stability is or where you're going to stay, um, establishment, you go from the four to the 10. This is like an opportunity for wealth. You gotta cut something out or get rid of something and, and, and choose another thing. That's the way you get wealth. This is also maybe a wealth of knowledge. Something's being transferred to you, downloaded to you. Karma, cause and effect. If you do it, then you find stability and the establishment of yourself here on the earth. Mm. So uh, my head is hurting. It might be because I'm drinking coffee. Hang on. Mm. I don't know. You may be thinking about something so much that your head is hurting, Aquarius. Um, that's overthinking. Um, you might be having too much coffee, not enough water. I don't know. The Ten of Pentacles. You got it twice. Oh... Okay, happy, organized people build empires, Aquarius. So you're gonna have to be firstly happy, organized, and then you can build your empire, your legacy. Are you happy? Some of you not happy at what you do. It's just a job, the four of pentacles. Happy, organized people build empires. So you gotta be organized. What kind of organization do you have? Are you organized or are you all over the place? Is it just whimsical? Is it one day this, one day that? Is it A, B, C, D, E, F type of plans? If A didn't work out, you're on C by Friday. You know, what? Just you gotta be organized and you gotta be still. This is Virgo energy. So this is, this is timing. This is um, commitment. This is tenacity. This is earth magic. This is groundedness. So you got to get grounded and rooted in something. Um, start, finish. So, oh, you got to see something from the start to the finish. Or you start stuff too much and then you finish it or you start it too fast and you finish it just as quickly. I don't know. But you got to see something from the start to the finish. From the start to the finish. Maybe you're not finishing. Maybe you've been too promiscuous in your career in finances you've been all over the place therefore you haven't seen any establishment oh, took all what huh? took 13 minutes um well think of just the work site aquarius you know a construction site uh they're trying to build a building okay uh they laid the foundation and then they go to lunch and then it, it turns into an extended lunch. And then they don't come back for another two weeks. Okay. All right. And then they, then they start on the framework and then they take another lunch. Now this lunch turns into an extended leave of absence. They aren't back into another two months. They're not going to establish anything, not quickly or not at all. You know, eventually they're going to get tired of taking all these, you know, extended breaks here. So what you don't have is, oh, that's why you got the seven and the six here. So this would be energy in between. You need to be fixed on this. The seven of wands, that's Leo energy. It's a fixed energy. You need to be fixated on this. Or you need to fixate on one thing, the two of wands. Then you're going to decide which one. Because all of this flip-flop back and forth, all of this, you know, waffle type of thinking just all over the place. You're driving yourself mad. And, and you're it's taking too long to get to the establishment of yourself, of your empire, of retirement, of... Um, 
financial security, abundance more than enough. Okay, so we know there you got under deciding him stick with it, Aquarius. Um, so up here, I had gotten um, seven of swords, nine of cups, the empress, seven of cups, four of pentacles, the king and queen of wands. So, you know, this can be read in so many different ways. Um, there is somebody here who, okay, hold on. Um, I was looking at something. All right. So, um, the king and queen of wands, this, this could be read as like a very passionate relationship where there's a lot of, you know, um, lot, loud pops and booms and you know it, chemistry but um it could be kind of volatile too so it could even be read as like a a karmic situation a karmic relationship you know or you, you both have something to learn you're too volatile you're too combustible you're you're too something it, you know it's not there's no grounded energy um both of you want to be empowered at the star. I don't know. There's no negotiation for whatever reason. It may be legitimate. I don't know. Um, but then, then there's also an archetype here, the empress. You could even be the third party to a situation or uh, you are the quote unquote main person and there is a third party. Because this person isn't, she, there's no title there's no realness to it you know um if you are the third party it looks like somebody wants you they're like snooping around either their person is snooping around on you or this is the person that maybe you left you left the third party you kind of left it alone the seven of wands showing up in the first spread you kind of put some distance between you and this person. Um, you, you're holding your ground. You're saying no. You put up a boundary or a wall. You don't want it. You can't come in and disrupt my life. The Seven of Wands talks about a, a destructive influence. I don't know. So it's like, um, oh, back to work. Like you be having a destructive influence in work. Like, I don't know. It's like you, you don't know how to construct. It's funny because we talked about the construction crew. It's like, you learn that things take time. You get the Ten of Pentacles twice. Anyway, in this love situation, you put some boundaries up or somebody put boundaries up with you. They just don't want it. They don't want it like you want it or you don't want them like they want you. It could have been merely sexual. We got um, seven, seven, seven showing up. It could be significant for you. Play that number if you play the lottery. I don't know. Um, it talks about, the sevens talk about trickery, mastery, magic okay um now we know that mastery on the higher octave could be good you're gonna master your skill set blah 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 whatever but if someone's trying to master you trick you use magic on you against you mm, not so good um we've got somebody here who wants to paint a narrative a picture but not actually change anything. We've got somebody here who wants to act like they want something, a relationship, a situationship or whatever, or that they're going to cooperate with you, but they really have ulterior motive. They really are a frenemy. This is the loss of friendship. Also, maybe you've let some friends go or they let you go. Or I don't know where you are on the spectrum, but it's like um, something about leaving it or, or um, yeah, walking away or deception or under underhandedness or trying very hard to get away with, um, trying to scheming also. Someone could be scheming to get you back, scheming to get you back in terms of get the relationship back or, or either get you back or someone is definitely looking in on maybe trying to take some information and then take it back and use it for themselves and cook something up or this is magnificent or mag that word whatever it's bad M magnif mag i can never say that word anyway it's bad altogether 
Uh, it's like somebody is definitely, you know, there's an act, there's a charade. There's also somebody here who will leave you holding the bag. You know, they will act like, yes, we're in this together. They will, but they will leave you holding the bag. This could have even been a friend or a friend group. Um, the cards are saying, if you feel like you need to be in partnership with, it says go it alone. You got a lot of cards of go it alone. Seven of swords, four of pentacles, nine of cups, go it alone. You got the four of pentacles twice. Someone could be trying to manipulate you emotion or manipulate you emotionally. They want to get an emotional reaction out of you. Someone also could be trying to procrastinate, stagnate, stagnation, four of pentacles, procrastinate. So if someone's trying to procrastinate you or you know, or bring about procrastination in your life. That means that they know you're supposed to be somewhere or you're, you're going somewhere, right? Mm, that's a word. So it's like maybe somebody knows that you're going to the top and they're trying to hold you back or procrastinate that because they know when you get there, there's no chance for them to ever, ever, they can't even talk to you, look at you. Um, this could even be energy. You know, again, we had spiritual warfare come up. We had spiritual warfare come up. It's like they could be sent from, you know, they could be allowing themselves to be used by. This is not good energy. So allowing themselves to be used by you fill in the blank. Because it's like the other side, the spiritual realm knows where you're going or, or what you should be doing or how you're going to affect or that you have talent or you're going to use your talent, You that you've been fostering your talent, cultivating it. You could sing, you could dance. Um, you're the empress. Uh, you're abundant. You can make nothing out of something. Uh, you're great. You've got something to offer the world. She's got the world in her belly. Some of you could be pregnant. There could even be somebody scheming around your pregnancy. I don't know. Be careful. Seven of cups. It's like drink this or drink that or the four of pentacles it's like they're trying to def, somebody is definitely a secret love or secret woman they got this whole woman on the outside of town of the state of the country I don't know they got this like this is like a layered connection like somebody's got a wife or a girlfriend and then they got somebody else on the other side of town like set up you know or um pregnant or yeah this is um yeah he's got pregnancy coming up twice here look at this card she's pregnant she's pregnant so somebody is pregnant here somebody could be having a baby or already had the baby or maybe last trimester right um there is this energy of this man or this woman trying to dominate you, once again, procrastinate, stop you, halt you, stagnate you, toxicity, domination, domineering, exert their will over you. Then you had domination come out. So somebody's trying to dominate you, your energy. They want you to take on their will for your life and for them. You say you want a husband, you want a wife. They're like, nah, we just need to do us. We're good doing us. We have a good time. We like each other. You like me, right? You know, it's like, it's, it's like someone's trying to force you into something you said you don't want. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who's emotionally un unstable or there's instability there maybe with the de definitely emotionally which could affect the mental too there's somebody here who needs meds that this is a feminine energy who needs medication okay the six of pentacles in reverse this is a taker this is somebody who doesn't give this is someone they're not realistic um they're not charitable uh they hoard. This is somebody. This is a hoarder. So it's just taking, taking, taking. 
even when they don't need. This is someone here, um, you give them money, they're not gonna give it back to you, even if it was a loan. This is somebody um, who's stuck, you know, like they, they feel like they need a man or they need a woman. The will of fortune, this is somebody who doesn't have money or they're, they're going down or the money is dwindling. Um, they're not in a high vibration. This was not a soulmate. This was not somebody that you are destined to be with. You know, um, this is somebody who was trying to change your destiny. Okay, procrastinate you, stagnate you. This is somebody who was, they didn't want you to change. Okay, Aquarius, or this is you, Aquarius. You were trying to get somebody to um, change their mind about you. I don't know. Yeah, the three of swords and the four of wands in reverse. So someone put, somebody misrepresented themselves like they were just like, um, I heard a sunflower or um, that they were empress type of energy and they're not, wow, magician upright. Yeah, somebody manipulation, manipulated misrepresentation, miscommunication. It's just like a miss. Everything is a miss. I don't know, cause, oh, you missed it because they were doing this, the magician. Look over here. Don't look over there. Believe what I say. This is speech too. The magician governs speech. So they could be well-spoken, well-written. They just put shit together where it sounds like it's something that you wanted to accept. This could be you also. I don't know. It could be any, either one of you. This is somebody here who misrepresented themselves to you. Okay. And then once you found out who they are, who they were, who they will be, um, the four of wands, you found out this is not your twin flame or this is a false twin or this is not someone who you can have stability with, or you can have, uh, I heard procreate with, or this is someone who you can't have a home life with, or you can't make a home with them. Or they upset everything. They, uh, there's no forward movement. There's no stability. It's always shaky ground. It's always you wondering. There's always somebody else. It's always look over your shoulder. It's always when is the other shoe going to drop? It was always wondering, uh, maybe even a roving or wondering eye. Four of wands in reverse. There is no successful completion. There's no coming together. There's no eloping. There's no taking off. There's none of this. It's like, but you now see it. But you were like under the guise of just them misrepresenting themselves by way of their words. The three, the swords talk about words and thoughts too. I don't know. They were trying to manipulate your thoughts. Maybe you're like under some spell work. Somebody also didn't want you to be successful. Is what I heard. Or they didn't want you to have a home or they didn't want you to have stability, a foundation. So they could have been putting, you know, the vibration out there in the universe, the magician and the three of swords. What is this about spirit? And then we close out. I think this is pretty good in regards to maybe, you know, something you needed to know, especially in terms of career and finance. And some of you have been a little bit too flighty, you know, settle down, settle down, settle, settle in, settle down, buckle up. It's a road. But it looks like the road, all roads lead to um, success. All roads lead to manifestation, to a big dream coming true. But for some of you, it's just not going to come overnight. And you got to, it's hard in this culture because we see so many overnight success, especially on the internet or the use of the internet, the world wide web. You being able to reach so many people, you see people blow up overnight you know and it's like well shit if they did it why can't it happen for me and then that's the tough pill to swallow because it doesn't happen for everybody and your quote unquote overnight success can take years okay because everybody gonna say it was overnight right when they they didn't know how long you were struggling and you were sliding up and down a damn hill like you was like i made it up the hill and then damn here comes a monsoon. Here comes, you know, total wipeout. Um, there might be, you need to save for a big purchase. 
you're going to have the money to do it, but just save your money. Physical fight coming out. I don't know if somebody want to fight you or there was a fight. The Seven of Swords. I heard in the dream state, like somebody, you may have gotten a dream that somebody wants to fight you or, yeah, they want to they wanna put hands on you. Somebody wants you to unblock them on all social media because you block somebody with the Seven of Wands here. Um, maybe even over the phone too. Let's see. Secret love child. Can't make it up. I said that somebody's getting pregnant. They're like a secret woman on the other side of town. This could also just been, you know, indicative of just a secret love affair. Maybe there's no child involved, but this is like secret here. And somebody wants the secret love back. Somebody doesn't want the secret love child though. Somebody just don't value shit, period. And that's just who they are. And they're not physically attracted to their partner. Therefore, they find themselves coming back to you, looking toward you for sex. This is in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse. Somebody is a, a druggie. They need help or they get, they're getting help. Someone could be getting help for some type of addiction. Now it could be drugs, alcohol, pills, and so forth, or it could be any, anything else. So somebody's getting help with it in reverse. Yeah, maybe you and this person were trauma bonding. Somebody's coming to the determination. Yeah, well, that's what we were doing. You know, trying to see whose trauma is bigger. You know, sometimes this card comes out when life happens, right? You lose your job and you meet somebody and maybe they help you or you help them or I don't know, something like that. And it's it, they're going through trauma. You're helping them. You were trauma bonding. This card a lot of time comes out most recently for those who met people at the beginning of the whole uh, COVID-19 debacle, you know, um, met people during the shutdown and, you know, everybody was trauma bonded together. So we were all stuck in the house together, right? So um, you began to grow. That's why it's a green card by way of this trauma that's going on between us all. But look, when the trauma stops, guess what stops? Yep, the relationship. It's like, well, what's between us now? Because if it, we hadn't gone through this trauma, will we even be doing this? Will we even be this far? So you got to keep that in mind. Um, let's see what else. You, some of you got some spoiled, rotten children. You know it. Um, or somebody acts like a spoiled, rotten child, or someone is a spoiled, rotten child, and they are coming into adulthood and into relationships and bringing that same energy. Somebody is jealous of you. Everything is you, you, you. You do have somebody trying to send you energy, but it looks like the battle's already won. Whatever they're doing is kind of like dead in the water. It immediately goes to from seven of wands to ten of wands. It's like it's already won. A few days ago, I kept getting like the apparition or like the vision of like a battle, like fight. And it was like on a battlefield. So I don't know, it could be indicative of spiritual warfare. And we did have seven of wands. That's my card for spiritual warfare. So I don't know, somebody is jealous of you. Um, they want to fight you. That was the first card that came out. Um, I did have that that vision. And, um, you know, maybe it is spiritual warfare. Yes, yeah, somebody is addicted. If not to pills, drugs, and alcohol, sexual addiction, and they mess with prostitutes, okay? And these could even be male or female prostitutes, if it's same-sex prostitutes, right? Or trans or something of that nature. And there's no judgment here, but um, I think somebody is hiding it due to the fact that they feel like they will be judged. Um, somebody is trying to get help or they need to get help. Um, somebody could be very loose with their, with the wand, with the wop. Somebody needs to slow it down, you know? Um, the purple card and the pink card these like a lot of friends with type of benefit friends with benefits relationships like a, some either you Aquarius or someone around you has these type of relationships this card I wanted to show yeah ten of swords in reverse someone's not letting something in I don't know what it is um yeah not letting something in just won't let it in what is this about? Let's get some more cards for Aquarius and then close this thing on a 
I can't make it up. I just said that to somebody who got fired from their job. You might have been trauma bonded with somebody who was fired from their job. Or they called you because they knew you would, you know, you have extra money. You might have been dealing with an idiot. I'm going to say you're the intellectual craze. <laughs> um, or somebody is in a relationship with an idiot. You could be the intellectual and um, they deal with an idiot. Yeah, you could be a side woman or somebody's got a side woman. Somebody is in love with you. But they, they may have put you to the back burner, didn't choose you, chose someone else over you, and now they're regretting it, trying to come back, spy on you, snoop on you, all of the above. Yeah, they could be in some type of sex sexless marriage relationship. They sleep in different beds. Um, they don't, sometimes they're not even, I heard, not even under the same roof, okay? So I don't know, somebody could just be in something that is cold and gray. It is a gray card. It's like, there's no love there. We did have physically, not physically attracted to my partner. So somebody is like, I don't even want that. You know, I'm, I'm fiending for the Aquarius. I'll be careful with that. I know that, you know, those words and how somebody feels, it could blow your ego up. It could blow your head up, but you didn't, when you want to analyze that. Okay. So you'll give this other woman or man, the world, or at least stability. Um, but you want to just have sex with me because my body looks good, looks nice. Hmm. Am I not worthy of both? Like, why not just give me the stability, right? So you, you want to, you know, dial it back. Yeah, it feels good that somebody wants you because you're so sexy. But at the same time, like, you're more than that, Aquarius. Someone knows that too, but they try to just keep it at sex. Um, friends with benefits, sex only, um, because they're not getting it at home. Again, we got the queen and the king of wands. Like, you know, the chemistry is off the charts. Yeah, they want to look at you as like a hookup on a weekend or an outlet. You're an outlet to the life that I live. They feel like you're absolutely gorgeous. Um, don't be used. You can do whatever you want to do, Aquarius, but make sure at all times and everything you're getting what you want you know because if you don't get anything you want out of the situation then you come to a place of feeling used and depletion you're going to get tired of somebody coming to you getting sex from you you no longer being fulfilled with just the sex eventually it's going to come to a close or you're going to feel some type of way yeah you're going to be you're going to turn into a hateful mother sucker. You're going to turn into just, you're going to turn, it's going to turn, it's going to go from love to hate because, um, you know, you're not getting what you want. They're the only one getting their needs or their wants, their desires fulfilled and you are not. So, um, I don't know what that looks like for you, whether it is compensation in terms of money or trips or I don't know, but you know, um, make sure you get what you need or what you want out of this situation or this arrangement for this is just, you know let's just be honest for the selling of sex is the oldest profession and if that's what you do if that's what you choose to do then make sure it makes sense for you or if you are choosing to um, have sex with someone because you know that's what they want from you and nothing more then you have to be getting something out of it and if the exchange of sexual activity is good enough for you. That's good. Then, Hey, it's good enough for everybody else involved too. Um, but make sure that you're getting something that, uh, some reciprocity is happening because, um, you're going to get to a place of, you know, your mind, your emotions are going to get to a place of where you're going to be questioning what you're doing. So make sure at the end of the day, you can rationalize it, right? You can say, well, you know, um, I've got this swank little condo that I live in and, you know, it is what it is or not. I don't know. Keep going. That's for somebody, you know, that's for somebody, you know, everybody is having a different experience, different walk of life. And it is what it is, right? We just got to respect it. Put some respect on these people's name. Let them do what they do. Um, yeah, somebody is like, I just don't do well in one-on-one -on -one connections. So you may be coming to 
this person with your heart extended, they're acting like they're doing that with you, but they got all of these other ones behind them, you know? So be cautious of that. Somebody may seek out super independent ladies because they don't need much. I don't have to do much. Maybe I don't even have to pay for a date. They'll pay for a date. All I have to do is just show up dick in hand or, or peapot in hand. I don't know, you know, um, be cautious of that. Just get to know people a little bit further before you just open yourself up to them. Uh, wow. I can't make it up. Say I can talk to you for hours, blah, blah, blah. Talk to these people because eventually people are going to tell on themselves. Always be reading, reading, you know, out of what the people are saying. Don't read into, but maybe read out of, you know, take something out of it, you know, in between the lines. Somebody is definitely in need of therapy needing to talk to somebody. Keep in mind that therapy, counselors, psycho, uh, psychologists, psychoanalysis helps with the past and, you know, uh, counseling or help coaching, whether it be personal or business helps with the now. So that's just a little tidbit there for you. Somebody is in need of therapy, therapeutic type of environment. Somebody needs to release. Someone needs to talk. Someone needs to lie on that on that couch and feel comfortable. Someone needs to release in terms of, you know, maybe um, it being an orange card, like sexual activity, or maybe like, um, I'm getting solar plexus. It could even be sacral chakra. I don't know, you know, someone needs to release there. Yeah, somebody can't keep steady work. And <clears throat> it could be you, Aquarius, it could be someone else. Or someone just doesn't, stay steady on their goals they always flip-flopping if something doesn't turn out in the right capacity or the a quick turnaround that is okay on to the next this could even be with jobs it could be with your goals it could be with everything so you need to learn wash rinse repeat over and over again okay you need to learn that because um endurance builds character some of you don't have no character behind you you don't have any work ethic or not a good one anyhow or you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have a good work ethic now you may say i've been on my job for 20 years but you may have also in those 20 years said you were going to start this and start that and do this and do that and nothing really manifests you just kept flip-flopping so that could be even you know also they were giving me that analogy. I don't know. Somebody could be homeless and in a need. Can't keep steady work. Can't keep money. You know, and somebody is homeless and in need. Uh, why are this? Why are these people homeless and in need? And somebody's husband doesn't contribute. You know, financially. Let's see. Who is homeless and in need? Why? Who is homeless and in need? The five of one, somebody who was in competition with you, someone who talked about you, someone who was childish and petty, um, someone who maybe even made you an option. This is somebody who's frivolous with their time, their energy, their money. This is somebody who, five of ones, who's homeless and in need? Fortune, they're down on their luck. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Leo, Leo coming up again. Homeless and in need. Their fortune changed. Something changed. It was like a, a swift, fast change. It could be um, somebody who, who was a. I'm getting like drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Somebody who who's doing a lot oh somebody's homeless in the need because they they keep switching up the five of wands they keep doing all these different things they keep fighting for all these different causes or i'm starting this or i'm starting that it's like yeah the ace ace of cups came out in reverse it's like they don't have a love a passion for a drive for anything they were just running after money or chasing after money maybe even material gain. Uh, they were all about business, but they were going about it the wrong way. The Ace of Cups in reverse, there was some business proposition, a start of a business that it was not profitable, um, maybe because there was no love for it or what they were doing. 
This is somebody who was not seeking life purpose, but they were seeking money. Okay. Um, this is somebody here who was put in like a male first or put in some type of um, figure, male figure first, a father first or a father of. This is somebody, it could be a same sex relationship. This is somebody here who, yeah, devastation, judgment. So this is somebody who's under judgment, under uh, cosmos, co cosmos, cosmic judgment. This could even be like spiritual judgment. Somebody did something that they weren't supposed to do and now they're getting judged for it. The Ten of Swords. Um, this is curse, failure, depletion, dilapidated, falling apart. Something fell apart for this person or is falling apart. Definitely, they're on the bottom side of that Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune is a Ten card. So we've got, we've got maybe um, somebody's homeless and in need because something that they've done or that they do. This could even be like some type of magic that they've done or just them being unsteady, uh, just in everything. Everything that they put their hand to, they're just completely unsteady. They were a taker, not a giver. They were, um, they ran after passions and it was nothing grounding this energy. I don't know what's going on here. All I know is they got a lot of cards in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles coming up in reverse. Whatever they started wasn't foundational. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't somebody just didn't see themselves. You know, there was no manifestation of it. There was no growth there. there it, it was no progression. It took off and went nowhere. They started it and they stopped it. You got to make some quick, fast decision. Um, somebody was uh, in power and then it, it was like collapsed because they're under judgment. Somebody did something they didn't have any business doing. Okay. What is this about? What is this about? I knew it. The moon card, the death card, and the hierophant. So somebody was like using like man's law, spiritual law to end somebody or to end somebody's way of life or stability it's like something came back on somebody because they were doing something under the moon's guise they were being cunning trickery deceptive lying to themselves and everybody else and they were doing something maybe cycling in and out of somebody's life so somebody could even be getting karma because they once again we talked about deliberate somebody being deliberate and um maybe tricking you or uh, deliberate in making you do all the work in a relationship the moon card whatever it is they're getting judgment you know um, the death card their stability ended they were trying to end yours they would try to cause instability for you and it looks like it returned to them Somebody used their power and the knowledge that they had about spiritual powers. They used it for bad or they went to some sect or some group or some cult and they got all mixed up with these people and they started doing shit to you, Aquarius or Aquarius. You were doing this to someone else. Looks like it's being returned to sender or it's just we did have the seven of wands. Whatever somebody's doing is dead in the water. It's funny, it's water here in the judgment card. The, it's like somebody's getting it back or they're being judged for what they've done they thought it was they were going to go unscathed I don't know why they thought they were going to go unscathed I don't know why they thought this wasn't going to come back to them I just never understand these people in regards to doing you know negative bad evil magic I mean the first rule of magic you do something bad or you do use black magic it's coming back to you no matter how all of the protection spells you're going to do on yourself. If it's not coming back to you today, 
and it don't come back to you tomorrow and maybe it don't come back to you next year it's coming back karma has gps okay it will find you just don't do it if you know somebody's doing something negative against you just return the energy whatever your enemies are doing just return it you know whatever they're they're just cooking up um return the energy you don't have to play dirty like that and then also these love spells that some of these people are engaging in you gotta keep in mind that stuff backfires too and if you've done a love spell whether you've done it because you were in a place of desperation you need to ask for forgiveness from that person you don't have to do it you know in their face but you need to ask for forgiveness from that person from the universe to um recall that spell and to break it break that cycle break that bond okay because some of you did spells or you you were really um wanting somebody and now you don't want them now you don't want it and you can't get rid of them i don't know who that's for but i don't know it could be for you it could be for somebody else um somebody's getting judgment though for the stuff that they did yeah the seeds that they planted coming back to roost harvest somebody did this to maybe a chosen individual or somebody who's set apart it was like a baby magician and then like a warlock doing something somebody was like under the tut tutelage the direction of like a warlock Somebody could have even tried to do some do something with your hair, get some your hair. This person thought that they this wasn't gonna come back to them because it took a while. It took a long time. There was a period where there was no activity. They was on top of the wheel. They was living life, and that shit just hit them like a ton of bricks. The Ten of Swords, with the Death card. In the Will of Fortune. Yeah. This is somebody doing something behind the the wife's back too. And the husband is getting what's due to him. This is the age of awakening of Aquarius also. The age of Aquarius. The age of awakening. Somebody woke up to their power. Woke up to the fact that there was a hidden enemy spell casting sometimes this card comes out when there is somebody attached to your person whoever you think your person is somebody attached to your person who's doing energy work either on your person or on both of y'all you know keep you away from them and to keep your person away from you um or they're doing like love spells potions to get your person so it's like hidden enemy somebody awakened to the fact that somebody was doing this stuff and then like the oh the universe was like yes now we you're you're awakened now we can we can activate something was activated okay got it uh-huh yeah the fool card so um somebody's been through a lot and uh Somebody let a lot go. They let a, a, a lifestyle go, a previous lifestyle go. They let it go. This is somebody thought that this person was foolish, stupid for doing this, letting this lifestyle go. Uh, they thought that they were on the, the the downward Aquarius. This could be you, the fool card. You let a lot go in your life. You let a whole life go. You just start letting things go. And people counted it as you are down for the count. You're out. You are, they just discounted you. Like, oh, Aquarius is just going down. They're low life or they're a loser or this and that. But they didn't know that this was calculated. The sun card. They didn't know that this was calculated. These, so this is, um, this is like raw manifestation and then masculine energy, the sun card. 
it's like you got enlightened about what you needed to do or what, what you needed to release. So you just went on that journey. And now you're in the sun or you're basking in the sun or you're in the sun time or the summertime of your life, meaning that you're, you're getting, you're having it your way. Life is going great. People didn't understand what you were doing, but it wasn't for them to understand. You didn't walk around with a bells and whistles and a sign telling everybody your business. Well, I'm getting rid of all of this stuff so that I can, no, it wasn't, it was what it was. You let stuff go. You let the whole lifestyle go. Wow. Ace of Pentacles can't make it up because it was like, now you're getting the opportunity for wealth. You let something manifest within yourself, like self-actualization, the, like the highest level of being psychologically developed in your mind. Like this is the mind is important. Okay. Because if you don't have vision, you don't have anything. If you can't close your eyes and see where you need to be in the future, how can you get in there? So it was like, um, vision and it was self actualization. It was like you saying to yourself, I can actually do something manifest big for you. And you said, wow, I didn't know my power. You got into knowing your power. This is like, yeah, you coming into, um, definitely the seed of wealth being planted unto you. This is knowledge. You came into awareness of yourself and how to use or transmute energy or use your power or that you have power, that you're a master manifester or that you can say it and you can have it, um, that you can just work after it. If you keep going, you can do it. Um, this is somebody here who was like manifesting something and it may took a, a while for it to come in cause it was a big thing with the ace of pentacles and it came in and it even wild you Aquarius that like, wow. Like, wow. Hey, that's all you was like, wow. I didn't know shit. I, I, I knew I was bad, but I didn't know I was bad, bad. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Wow. Because the, the empress at the bottom of the deck was like, you back to back here. It's like, the universe is so happy that you came into awareness about somebody doing something to you on the back end that you didn't know about backhanded, sneaky, deceptive, cunning. You came into awareness about it. So then you could activate and then they can activate too. And they help propel you into your power, into your manifestation power, into you, you knowing how great you are, how you can actually do it, your strength, the, the Ace of Pentacles talks about strength training. Um, we know that endurance builds character. So it's something about uh, all of that shit that you took, that you were, went through. It like you transmuted the energy and the universe was just so happy that you, you awakened to it. The, the age of Aquarius, the age of awakening, you awaken to maybe um, your spirituality, to your true self, to your nature, to what you should be doing, how you need to... Um, always be praying at least for protection over yourself. We talked about that earlier. You start awakening to you and who you are and, uh, looks good. Aquarius. It really does. Um, are we going to pull from this deck? Okay. Whoever this was, was not there for you and they not there for you. Now they were just not there for you. Oh, they told me they were not there for you. Even when they were with you. They were acting. It was all an act. The seven of swords. Be cautious. Some of you who are pregnant with somebody's baby who is acting like they want to be there for you or they're going to be there for you um, because you're going to suffer uh, weeks of no communication or them ghosting you or checking out on you and being unkind to you, especially in a time of maybe giving birth or you being ill or when you need them. Somebody is trying to come out of this low vibing life, but you got to let them come out of that. You know, you can't go get them out of that. Let them come out of that. Let them come to you. Some of you are moving, but what was holding you back was money, but the money's coming into you. Whoa, spirit. Okay. So the money was holding you back from this residential move. And then this came in and I was like, what? The spirit said, I'm holding several secret affairs from you. So I'm, I'm holding several secret um, affairs. What I'm working in the background in, this, in the spiritual realm from you, Aquarius. Damn, that hit me like a ton of bricks. My, my whole stomach, solar plexus, 
sacral chakra is like like jumping right now like some of you spirit is really going to blow your mind they're holding several secret affairs from you wow you about to get a lot no they said no I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> i'm gonna pull some cards and said, no holding several secret affairs from you wow 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 Aquarius beautiful energy I think I'm gonna leave it there that's the first time I ever got that um that revelation from this card you know because this is not what it was supposed to mean but spirit is like yeah we know that money is holding you back from maybe making this residential move so this is a physical move right but we holding back several secret affairs from you and they go, shh, it's a secret. You about to, some, some of you about to be, this is like mind blowing, about to blow your mind. I'm seeing the eight of wands. Eight of wands, you see that peeking out? Life is about to happen at a fast pace. The eight of wands talks about movement too. It talks about moving. It talks about things happening fast. This is beautiful, Aquarius. Another long ass reading, it's supposed to be short. Thank you for being here, Aquarius. Thank you for listening. I hope that you took something from this reading. If you did, you can always give back. Let the energy exchange happen. Don't just be a taker. Give something back. Um, I love coffee. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. Um, also, if you are a business-minded individual, we could connect. You could go ahead and schedule your complimentary uh, discovery call. It's all things business, okay? Um, and if you want to connect with business minded individuals like yourself each and every month, go ahead and uh, tap into that KTMG, keep the momentum going monthly conference call where we go over all things uh, practical and spiritual in terms of business, how to start, how to maintain and grow your business. OK, shout out to L.A., Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Florida, Min Minneapolis, Minneapolis. Got it. New York. London and Houston. Okay. I have a lot of viewership at those places. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. I said Saturday. I'm not live Saturday night. I am probably sleep. I was going to say something fun, but I'm going to tell the truth. I'm probably in the bed. Um, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. I'm going to get out more. I'm getting out more. Um, yeah, I'm live. I do a collective reading and you can come and ask your questions. So take advantage. Okay. And book a, a reading at the website level. Use code 40 off 40 off at checkout. Get 40% off. Right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.